Listen, if you're going to follow Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, you're not going to have anything the way you want it. You're going to have it the way he wants it. Okay? So, now first we'll go to fat. Because what did he say here? He said, Israel, but Israel grew fat and kicked. Okay, fat, shiny, shiny, oily, greasy, greasy. We get to see this every weekend too. People fat, shiny, and oily, and greasy. And eating greasy fry breads with grease running down their arms. Maybe just use a little for deodorant. And just, you know, fat with fat equals fat. But the definition of this is shiny, oily, gross. Greasy and gross. Gross! Become fat, obese, corpulent, prosperous. Hey, Joel Osteen, you're fat. <laughs> Kenny, you're just a fathead. <laughs> Prosperous, having too much, dull and stupid. Dull and stupid. Now, the Bible also says, let your senses be exercised to discern between good and evil. Now, if I've grown fat spiritually, and God wants to exercise my senses, I'm going to resist that. Because I don't want to move. I like it just where I'm at. Hmm? If you watch somebody and they get fat, they won't even want to turn on a light switch. Huh? They'll be commanding others, turn that light switch on for me, get me my slippers. You know, get me my flippers. Get me this, get me that. Why? Because they've grown so dull and stupid they can't do it themselves. Why don't we want our senses to be exercised to discern between good and evil? Because to exercise is work. To move is work. To walk is work. Everything's work except the shovel. Okay? All right, kick. What does kick mean? To trample down. To despise. To treat harshly or inconsiderately. So, when we're getting fat and kicking, what are we doing? We're rebelling against God. We're despising God. We're forsaking God. And we are treating him harshly and inconsiderately. Because it says right there, you grew fat and you kicked. You grew fat and you kicked. So that action of kicking was probably the last thing you ever did physically, but you did it to God. So we see that when God was giving this indictment unto his own people, he was serious in the matter. Now that's why, as I said, it used to be considered a shame to be obese. Because it exhibited your gluttony. It exhibited that you did not want to control your voracious. Hmm? Your growling, snarling, devouring beast. Okay? It publicly made that known that this was your sin. Now, like all sins, it's exhibited. It's something to be proud of. It's something to uh, think doesn't matter, even if you can't reach the steering wheel of your own car. You know, and you have to get extenders put on your hands to reach your computer because your sack's in the way. And you can't b bother to pray or cry out unto God because it takes too much effort. And if God said to your church, forsake all, sell all that thou hast, and come follow me, or take on hold all things common, you couldn't do it. So you'd dull out. You'd dull out. 
Well, I mean, I don't really think it's the Lord. I don't really think it's God. Well, he hasn't told me. Well, no, because you got fat balls in your ears. Hmm? You got to get the fat out of your ears before you can hear it. So, going on, we're going to read some more of this scripture, but I want you to keep these things in mind. <clears throat> There's a profile that accompanies God's accusation against them. There's a profile. Okay, just if I go gain, say, 300 pounds, okay, I'm going to have an altered profile. Now, is that true? If you gain 300 pounds, you're going to have an altered profile. But thank God we have an ex-salesman uh, in here that can sell us all the equipment we need to mobilize. Mobility equipment. We'll have access by this mobility equipment and nobody will even know the difference. Except our poor little bone structure, our skeletal attempt to hold up all this weight, you know, our organs that get mashed by the layers of fat. Did you know that people's internal organs literally get mashed and squeezed by all this fat? We don't even care about our poor heart that has to pump furiously 24 seven to keep this big ball of shiny, oily, greasy, gross, obese, corpulent, uh, dull, stupid mechanism going. Hmm? So, Anyway, to make it shorter, watch the profile as I read this scripture that God is elaborating upon in his indictment to prove how serious it is to him when you grow fat, thick, and gorged. And you think, well, I don't want to hear it scrawn about fat. Well, you might want to hear it because it's right here. Huh? You might want to hear it. You might want to hear it. Come on, where's all the amens? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys a bit thick and dull? Get the fat. We need to get a surgeon in here to cut out fat blobs in the ears. And you know what? You watch too much television and too many movies and play with your computer too much and guess what happens? You get fat balls on the eyes, you get fat balls in the ears, and you get fat balls on the brain. Because you've taken in too much of the world. You get fat on the world. And who wants to hear God when you can hear about your favorite sports team? Huh? When you can hear about the, uh, you know, juicy romance between Homo Harry and... <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeez, help us all. <laughs> so, we can get fat on the world. We can get fat on the things of the world. And the Bible says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's our fat profile. They forsook God, they despised the rock. Then it says, they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. With abominations, they provoked him to anger. Now, I want to point out something here that we need to keep in mind in respect to what God was speaking to us this morning when he said that his people are bringing down the hell, bringing down the wrath, gravitating the anger of God. Now, sinners are sinners are sinners. And yes, God looks upon them and yes, God is sorely displeased with their evil and their sinful state. And yes, God punishes them. And yes, God sends the majority of them, that is, the ones that are not repentant, to hell. Now, a sinner that's repentant goes into another category if they live out that repentance. I was one of those. I was a sinner bound to hell, and God spared me because I repented, cried out to Him, and He forgave me. But, if I were to return to the former lifestyle, I am every much, every bit as much a sinner in the eyes of God. I can say Jesus and God and uh, Sunday school and church bulletin, I'm a sinner bound to hell. A backsliding sinner. So, the point of it is, the only ones that are spared from God's anger 
in such a case are the ones who repent and walk uprightly in God. So yes, God is sorely displeased with the sinners. But God is more displeased with his own people who turn away from him. See, he wasn't bringing this indictment against the inhabitants of the land. He was bringing this indictment against his people who he said, you got fat. Huh? You fat heads. You got thick. You got gorged. And you kicked. Which is an action whereby you are showing God that you're trampling him down. That you're despising and trashing him. That you're treating harshly and inconsiderately. Did you know we can trash God just because we want our way? It's true. Well, I don't really care what God wants. This is what I want. And all the while you're treating God inconsiderately. You're treating God with hostility and harshly. So we have to watch fat. You've got to keep a guard against fat. Because fat is self. If you don't believe me, you just let yourself eat everything that comes into your mind and see what happens to you. Go ahead. Try it. There's some people that have tried it. And now they pay for it. John, it's a health visitor to see you. Oh, hello, Mr. Daniels. Thank you, Mummy. How are you feeling today, John? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel good. Mr. Daniels. Yep. You look well sexy today. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, it's my pleasure, John, as always. <laughs> How's the exercise routine going? Oh, thank you. Really well. I knew you'd ask that. Thank you. Well, every day I do half an hour on the exercise bike. And are you getting out and about doing some walking? Oh, thank you for asking that. That shows a kind and caring personality, that does. So thanks for that. Every day I go two miles to the swimming pool and then once a week I go to Weight Watchers. Thank you, Weight Watchers. <laughs> okay. And is your weight coming down, John? Oh, yeah, yeah. John, is any of this actually true? No. I don't understand you. You do want to get better, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. More than anything in the world! Good, that's really good to hear, because have you stopped snacking on the pork pies at least? Yeah. More pork pies, John? No. John, this really isn't good enough. No, no, it's not good no, enough. No, it's is not, it? is it, John? No! And um, what even? Please stop snacking on the pork pies. I don't! I don't! John, I'll see you next week. Miss Daniel, thank you! What I'm saying, if you just let the appetite go unbridled, you will become a brute beast. And you will have to have everything that you can possibly eat every day. Why? Because that thing has to be guarded against. What did he say? He said, deny yourself. Deny yourself. Deny fatso. Deny gorgy. Deny thick. Deny blubber. Deny appetite. Deny self. It all goes back to self. Now tomorrow, the Lord willing, and we're in the same uh, lesson, we're going to go over into the New Testament. And we're going to see what they said would happen in the last days. And we're going to see if the shoe fits. We've got our Old Testament shoe being put on today, so tomorrow if your feet aren't too swollen, we're going to see if the New Testament shoe fits. Okay? So, back to our scripture. They forsook God, they despised the rock. Okay? Then going on, what does it say? They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations. They provoked him to anger. So as I started out saying, he was not ranting on the inhabitants of the land. He was not indicting them. He was indicting his own people. 
This whole concept of easy believism and I'm not accountable because God loves me is false. I am highly accountable if God loves me. I am responsible to God and I am responsible to be the salt and the light unto the world. And I am responsible to keep that back that I can still hear God, respond to God, and move with God. All of us 